And we're off on a little adventure. We're out looking for shed antlers that were discovered by uh, my lovely wife on her skiing adventure earlier today. So we're on our cross country skis and we're going out into the deep dark forest. This is one of the cool things about living in New Hampshire. A lot of cool things about living in New Hampshire. Well, we can go cross country skiing, not downhill too, obviously, but if you're an outdoorsman, this is the place to be. Well, we made it, Will and I. Last time Will and I were out in the woods at night, we were hauling a deer. Yeah. And uh, we found it. Yeah, it's not antlers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leg, huh? Uh, this is a heavily traveled uh, pathway for the deer. And uh, looks like that's a little guy. Yeah. All right. Young one anyway. I mean, the, the leg length is pretty decent, but the foot's pretty small. It's probably a doe. What a beautiful spot, huh? Jeez. On a beautiful night. We gave it a whirl. Yep. Good times. Good times indeed. Yeah, so we'll just remind, I hung the uh, leg in this tree here just to, I don't know, be a marker, I guess. And uh, Will reminded me that we did hear a pack of coyotes out here two nights ago going bananas with one leader and then a whole pile of other ones chiming in. So I think this is another chapter in that story. <laughs> in the dark. Funny guy. Let's see where he is now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There he is. Well, that was a really fun adventure. Even though we didn't find a shed antler and we were pretty excited to find one, uh, and we only found a deer leg, it was still pretty cool. Will and I got to go on a little cross-country skiing, skiing adventure in the nighttime while it's snowing. Kind of hard to beat that. But I didn't want anyone to be disappointed about not seeing some antlers. So, these are the antlers that we featured in our last video. The 10 point, yeah, I know, they're kind of rubbed off. Uh, the 10 point, 202 or 201 pound deer, whichever way you want to look at it. It registered 202 at first, and then after eh, sitting for a minute or two on the scale, it dropped down to 201. But it's still pretty cool, in my humble opinion. And uh, they look huge sitting here, right? Don't they look cool? But of course, it's all perspective, because if you move them backwards any, they start to look pretty tiny. And just for comparison's sake, this is a set that uh, is one year older. And uh, it's taken in southern New Hampshire where it's not quite so snowy and the deer don't grow as big bodies, but look at the antler size. So this is actually a pretty young deer compared to this one. And this one can actually sit right down inside. Isn't that something? But this one right here, the one that we just got, is a lot older and a lot heavier and a lot wilier. And quite frankly, it was a much better adventure too, being up in the mountains like that. So anyway, that was our little uh, adventure for the night, trying to find some shed antlers, and I look forward to finding more. <laughs>